G'day everybody and welcome back to my Aussie gardening kitchen. This is just a quick video to give you a really quick look around my garden. I mean quick and also a quick Chris, Chris, I can't English, a quick Christmas message to you all. That's it. I hope not to take up too much of your time. No special effects and fancy editing. But seriously, just a quick message and a quick look around at the garden. It's the end of the year and I just wanted to give you a quick look at what it's like here at Christmas down under in my Aussie garden. I won't show you the kitchen because it's a mess at the moment. So yeah, anyway, let's get stuck into it. So if I slowly turn... Oh, I'm hooked on the pear tree. That's a good start. Hang on a minute. One second. What have I done? Oh, sorry, pear tree. Oh, there we go. If I spin around just for a second, you'll get an idea of all the growth maybe behind me. Maybe if I go out a bit and I don't fill it with my face. There you go. Of all the crazy growth that's going here on here in the orchard. So yeah, look, things are growing well. Unfortunately, if I turn this way, my I'm looking at the screen. I really shouldn't be doing that. I should be looking at you. The cherries got eaten by rats. All of my cherries. I'm so disappointed. I was like four days or so, like so close. I was saving them for Christmas. Gone. Rats took them all. But anyway, look, growth is going well in the orchard, except my Santa Rosa plum over here. I am going to look at the screen just for a second. Yep, the Santa Rosa plum. Unfortunately, the fruit flies got to them when they were very young. They're very marked. And also the leaves. I've got some sort of thing going on with the leaves. Whoops, was that out of shot? Yeah, look, I'm sorry. Like I said, this is really like a very rough edit. So if anyone's still watching, thank you so much. So look, orchard's doing quite well. If I spin around this way, try not to step on my favorite chicken girl. We'll have a look here. And if I look at the screen again. I spent all this time learning not to look at the screen when recording videos and now in this video I'm trying to do it and failing miserably. So here we go. Get off the screen fly. I've bagged my fruit. Uh, sorry, I've bagged my... Some of my peaches I've started bagging. Now some of the branches are way too big to have the fruit bagged. So I've actually bought larger bags and they're on the way. So if I come down here... Uh, if we go down here, you can probably see here, these here, I'll be able to bag the entire branch. And I've just noticed, I'll pick it off here. And you know what? You should probably see that. I can't see it, but rats have started to eat one of my peaches. So, yep, yeah, unfortunately, we have a rat problem. Um, it's just being so close to the Aussie bush, which is up there out in that direction right beside me that's just something i have to deal with and i don't want to leave baits around because i don't want oh excuse me girl i don't want secondary baits uh secondary poisoning on the wildlife here because i have such beautiful birds so many species that come here as well as my chickens and my dog anyway let's keep on moving because i'm wasting time here so in this section here my salary is starting to bolt and you can see it's bolting. I've got a few young celery in here with some jalapenos and the borage is going crazy in these grow bags and there's a couple of capsicums or peppers, uh, bell peppers as people call them, under there. I wasn't expecting the borage to go so big. Marigolds and, oh, I don't know, there's butternut squash, butternut pumpkin as we call it here, and some more celery in there. And I just wanted to come back this way. We've got some bell peppers just starting to form up now. Quite a few, actually. Very nice. That was actually left out in the full winter and not trimmed, not protected, nothing. It's done quite well. Okay, I couldn't help myself. There was a passion fruit there. And this one here. On sale, clearance. They were pot bound for like three dollars or something so my wife grabbed them for me now these ones don't send out suckers so i've put them into the ground 
so they should not send out suckers. Now, if you're wondering what suckers are, I do have a video on YouTube where it's got like 90,000 views. A long form video with 90,000 views. I'm so happy about that. Where I talk about suckers and why and how and stuff like that. And you can see that here on my channel. Anyway, so what I'm doing is if I move back a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to rush this. I put wire across to my walkway thingy that I made with the grapes and stuff. So what I'm going to do is actually have passion fruit growing on wire. And what I will do when I get some money is put permanent posts in here, wooden posts that will come up. And then what I'm thinking is having wire going in between with the passion fruit and then have a roof come across to the house. And then we can grow passion fruit up and over that way towards the house. That's the plan. So speaking of my walkway here, it's doing fantastic. It's um, growing grapes really, really well. You can see the grapes doing really well. They've got a bit of disease on them. So I'm watching that. I think that might be from watering at night time um, because it's, it's summer here in Australia in case you didn't realize. So I should probably put myself in camera for a second. So yeah, it's summer here in Australia and obviously it's hot. So I've been watering in the evenings and it's probably a mistake. You shouldn't water things like pumpkins and tomatoes, especially because of fungal diseases and stuff like that. And I've probably made that mistake here. So these actually need a feed. And yeah, they've got little baby grapes, which I'm really surprised at because this is the first year that they're in the ground. Really happy. And then if I try not to hurt myself stepping over the wire, I'll just spin the camera around and we'll look at the walkway. Sorry, this is such a rough recording, this one. But anyway, we've got the two plums here, the OK plum and the Satsuma plum as you walk into the walkway with the pots. And I've just put some pumpkins. Um, I think they're Kent pumpkins, which are an Australian pumpkin, I believe. Um, a butternut pumpkin. And if they work, it's really late in the season for me to be doing this, but if they work, they're going to sprawl out onto this grow mat here, uh, weed mat, which I need to peel all that grass out of. And yeah, as you can see, you can walk down and pick grapes from the top and these are the propagated blackberries which is it's, they're going crazy i mean have a look at that just all the way down again if you have a look on my channel if you haven't already as i trip over oh hang on i'm trying to get in here have a look at some blackberries oh hang on where am i pointing there there's blackberries so if you haven't already and i've mentioned it quite a few times in my videos especially when i come here these blackberries are propagated from little cuttings like this and you can go into my channel and look up how I propagate blackberries and just look at the success. It's just crazy. It's just all the way down from little cuttings like this in one year. This is the first year. Look how big they are and just how much fruit there is. It's just, I don't know if you can see as I turn the camera that way, but there is fruit galore. It is awesome. So here's another side shot. Look at that. This just all the way down, just covered in fruit. A little bit of Christmas tinsel there to try and stop the birds. It's not working, but hey, I thought I'd give it a go. That lasted for like one day. Looking all the way down here, that's where I've got my citrus. So I've got three oranges that are doing well. I've got a mandarin in a pot just here. And then I'm actually going to dig up a mandarin from the orchard and put it over here. And then move this guy across, probably, I don't know, somewhere else in the yard. And then that way I've got almost sort of my oranges and mandarins in the one area. Okay, I've just realized I'm supposed to be doing an update, not a whole what's happening, blah, blah, blah thing. Sorry, I just, I lose track of time. Or concentration or whatever the word is. Lose, oh, I don't know. Hey, if anyone's still watching, thanks very much. I've decided to split this video here and make this into a two-part video. It's just too long as one video, and I want to show you what's going on, but I just can't do it in five minutes. I don't know how to do it. I've tried, and I just can't. So anyway, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. If you don't see the next part, 
I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And please consider the people out there that are struggling this time of year. It's not such a merry time for everyone out there. So if you do know someone that's struggling, maybe give them a call or send them a message and see how they're going and just let them know that you're thinking of them. I wish you all the very best and a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I will see you in the next video. If I don't, thank you so much for watching this one and please be safe out there. Bye for now.